Are you ready to uncover the secrets of Israel's most advanced stealth fighter? The F 350U Ivadir isn't just another jet, it's a flying supercomputer packed with cutting edge tech, unique Israeli upgrades, and designed to dominate the skies. Today, we're breaking down everything you need to know about this incredible machine from stealth features to combat capabilities, so stay tuned because what you'll learn might surprise you. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving deep into one of the most talked about fighter jets in the world, the F-350i Aider. If you follow military technology, you've probably heard of the American made F-35 Lightning Tubeye, but Israel's version is something very special. The word Adir in Hebrew means mighty, and it's a perfect name because this fighter is one of the most powerful assets in Israel's defense arsenal. The F-35I is not just a carbon copy of the American F-35. It comes with exclusive modifications, unique Israeli software, and custom weapons integration that make it specifically suited for Israel's security needs. In today's video, we are going to explore what makes the F-350I so unique how it fits into Israel's defense strategy, and why it is considered a game changer in the Middle East. Whether you're a fan of aviation, military history, or just curious about the latest in defense technology, this video will give you a full tour of this stealth fighter's abilities. So buckle up, because we are about to break it down into 10 detailed sections, each covering an important aspect of this jet. From its stealth capabilities and sensors to its role in real world operations, you will get to know why the F-35I Adir is more than just a plane, it's a symbol of technological dominance and strategic deterrence. Let's start with its origin and development. The story of the F-35I Adir begins with the Joint Strike Fighter, JSF program, a U.S initiative that aimed to create a fifth generation multi-role fighter that could replace older aircraft like the F-16 and FDA-18. Israel, being a close U.S. ally and having one of the most active air forces in the world, was an early participant in discussions about acquiring this new fighter. But there was one major condition Israel wanted the ability to customize the jet to meet its unique operational requirements. Normally, the F-35 is sold as a highly standardized aircraft with limited customization for export customers. However, after negotiations with Lockheed Martin and the U.S. government, Israel became the only country allowed to fully integrate its own electronic warfare systems, command and control software, and some domestically developed weapons into the F-35 platform. This is how the I and F-35I was born. Israel received its first F-35UI in December 2016, making it the first country outside the United States to operate the F-35. Since then, Israel has steadily expanded its fleet and even used the aircraft in combat missions, a first in the world. The Adder's development story reflects Israel's philosophy of taking cutting edge technology and adapting it to local conditions, ensuring that its pilots have maximum independence and capability in wartime. This unique collaboration between the US and Israel is one of the reasons why the F-35I is so widely discussed and respected in defense circles. One of the most defining features of the F-350I is its stealth technology in modern warfare. Being invisible to enemy radar is often the difference between winning and losing an air battle. The F-35I stealth design uses a combination of radar, absorbent materials, carefully angled surfaces, and internal weapon bays that minimize radar reflections. This means that the aircraft can fly deep into enemy territory, gather intelligence, strike targets, and leave without being detected until it's too late. For a country like Israel, which faces potential threats from multiple directions, this ability is crucial. What's particularly interesting is that Israel has also added its own enhancements to the jet's electronic warfare suit. These upgrades are classified, but defense analysts believe they include advanced jamming capabilities and defensive systems to counter surface to air missile threats. 
This makes the F-35 9 not just stealthy, but also highly survivable, even in contested airspace. The aircraft sensors also contribute to its stealth mission. The distributed aperture system, DS and the electro optical targeting system, always give pilots a 360 degree view of the battlefield, allowing them to detect threats long before being detected themselves. In other words, the F-35I is designed to see first, shoot first, and avoid being shot at entirely. This level of situational awareness and survivability makes the Ader a true force multiplier for the Israeli Air Force, enabling it to conduct missions that were far riskier in previous generations of aircraft. When we talk about the F-35I's technology, we have to mention its avionics and data fusion capabilities. One of the revolutionary aspects of the F-35 family is its ability to act as a flying sensor node. This means that it doesn't just collect information for its own pilot, it can share real-time battlefield data with other aircraft, ground forces, and even naval units for Israel, which relies heavily on, on coordinated joint operations. This network-centric warfare capability is a game-changer. Imagine a scenario where an F-35I is flying over hostile airspace. The jet detects an enemy missile launcher using its onboard sensors, immediately transmits the coordinates back to a command center, and within seconds, a ground-based artillery unit or another aircraft launches a precision strike on that target. All of this happens without the enemy even knowing they were being watched. Additionally, Israel has integrated its own command and control software into the F-35UI, giving its Air Force more autonomy in mission planning and execution. This is very different from most other F-35 of operators who depend on American software updates and systems integration. The cockpit of the Adir is also one of the most advanced ever built, featuring a large touchscreen display, helmet, mounted display system, and voice command capability. This allows the pilot to focus on decision making rather than flipping dozens of switches. The result is faster reaction time, better situational awareness, and higher mission success rates. Another major strength of the F-35I Adir is its weapons flexibility. Unlike some export versions of the F-35, the Israeli variant has been adapted to carry not only U.S.-made munitions, but also Israeli-developed weapons. This includes precision-guided bombs, air-to-air -air missiles, and advanced standoff weapons. For instance, Israel can equip the jet with its SPICE precision guided bombs and other indigenous systems, giving it a truly independent strike capability. This is important because it means Israel can continue operating even if foreign weapons supplies are restricted during a conflict. The internal weapons bay preserves stealth by carrying weapons inside the fuselage, but when stealth is less critical, the F-35I can also carry weapons on external pylons, dramatically increasing its payload capacity. This dual-mode capability allows the ADIR to switch from covered operations to heavy strike missions as needed. The aircraft's targeting systems are incredibly accurate, allowing it to hit multiple targets in a single sortie with minimal collateral damage. In recent years, Israel has reportedly used the F-35I in combat against Iranian assets in Syria, taking advantage of its ability to penetrate advanced Russian-supplied air defenses undetected. This real-world combat use proves that the Adir is not just a theoretical weapon, but a proven tool of national security. Its ability to carry custom payloads and deliver precision strikes under hostile conditions is what makes it one of the most feared jets in the region. Let's talk about performance and maneuverability. The F-35I is powered by the Pratt and Whitney F-135 engine, one of the most powerful fighter jet engines in the world. This single engine design allows the jet to reach speeds of around Mach 1.6, which is more than enough for most modern air combat scenarios. While the F-35 is not designed to be a pure dogfighter like the F-16, it is still highly maneuverable thanks to its advanced flight control system and stealthy aerodynamics. 
The Jets' strength lies in its ability to avoid dogfights altogether by detecting and eliminating threats from long range. However, if a close range engagement does happen, the F-35I is, is equipped with high off boresight missiles and helmet mounted targeting systems that allow pilots to lock onto enemies just by looking at them. Another key performance factor is its combat radius. The F-35I can travel over 1,000 kilometers without refueling, giving it the ability to strike distant targets. And when longer missions are needed, Israel can rely on its aerial refueling fleet to extend the jet's reach. The combination of stealth, speed, and long-range strike capability means that the Adder can project power far beyond Israel's borders. This is particularly valuable given the geographic realities of the Middle East, where threats can emerge from multiple directions at once. The F-35I ensures that Israel can respond quickly, decisively, and from a position of strength. Another unique aspect of the F-35I program is pilot training and simulators. Flying a fifth-generation jet is not like flying an older fighter. The systems are far more advanced, and the amount of data flowing into the cockpit can be overwhelming without proper preparation. Israel has invested heavily in state of the art simulators that replicate the F-350I cockpit and battlefield environment in incredible detail. These simulators allow pilots to train for complex missions without putting wear and tear on the real jets, saving money and extending aircraft lifespan. More importantly, simulators allow Israeli pilots to rehearse dangerous missions that would be impossible to practice in real life, such as penetrating heavily defended airspace or coordinating strikes with other assets. By the time a pilot actually steps into an F-350Y, they have already flown hundreds of simulated missions and know exactly what to expect. This training approach has helped Israel achieve one of the highest operational readiness rates among F-35 operators. Additionally, Israel has its own domestic training programs and doesn't rely completely on U.S. training pipelines. This ensures that Israel can independently produce highly skilled pilots even during times of political tension. The result is an air force that can maximize the potential of its high-tech fleet and maintain a decisive edge over any regional adversary. Now let's look at maintenance and logistics an often overlooked part of owning a fifth generation fighter. The F-35 program uses a system called ALI's Autonomic Logistics Information System, which tracks the health of every jet in real time. However, Israel insisted on having its own independent maintenance data servers for security reasons, meaning that sensitive operational data stays inside Israel rather than being automatically shared abroad. This autonomy is critical for maintaining operational secrecy. The F-3050I fleet is maintained by a combination of Israeli Air Force technicians and local defense contractors, which keeps the turnaround time between missions very short. This is crucial because in a real conflict, jets may need to fly multiple missions per day. Israel has also invested in a strong domestic support infrastructure, including spare parts production and maintenance facilities to ensure that its F-35Is can keep flying even if foreign supply chains are disrupted. This level of self-sufficiency is rare among F-35 operators and is one of the reasons why Israel's fleet is considered among the most combat ready in the world. Maintenance isn't just about fixing jets when they break, it's about keeping them at peak performance, upgrading software regularly, and ensuring that the stealth coatings and sensors are always mission ready. By controlling its own logistics, Israel ensures that its F-35IVs are always available when needed, giving it a significant strategic advantage. Another fascinating element is combat history and real-world missions. Israel is the first country in the world to have used the F-35 in combat. In 2018, 
The Israeli Air Force confirmed that the ADR had flown operational missions, reportedly striking targets in Syria. These missions demonstrated the aircraft's ability to penetrate advanced air defense systems like the Russian-made S-300 and S-400 batteries. For Israel, which frequently faces threats from missile stockpiles and enemy bases in neighboring countries, the F-35I's ability to operate with near impunity over hostile skies is a major strategic asset. Each successful mission not only achieves immediate tactical goals, but also sends a deterrent message to adversaries that even their most advanced air defenses may not be able to stop an Israeli strike. The psychological effect of knowing that an adversary can strike undetected is almost as powerful as the strike itself, Beyond direct combat, the F-35I has also been used for intelligence gathering, tracking enemy movements, and coordinating operations with other air and ground forces. This makes it a valuable tool even outside of wartime scenarios. Real world experience has allowed Israel to refine its tactics, train its pilots in live conditions, and feed lessons learned back into software upgrades and future mission planning. This cycle of combat use and rapid improvement ensures that the F-35I remains at the cutting edge of modern air warfare. Finally, let's talk about strategic impact and the future of the F-3050I program. The ADR has fundamentally changed the balance of power in the Middle East. By giving Israel the ability to strike anywhere in the region with minimal risk, it strengthens deterrence and makes potential adversaries think twice before escalating conflicts. In the future, Israel plans to expand its F-35VI fleet with more squadrons expected to be operational in the coming years. There is also speculation that Israel may develop even more unique modifications, possibly integrating AI-assisted mission planning, drone swarming capabilities, and next-generation weapons. Some defense experts believe that Israel could use the F-35I as a key component in a multi-layered defense network, linking it with systems like Iron Dome, David Sling, and Aero Missile Defense Batteries to create a seamless air dominance and missile interception grid. The strategic implications of this are massive. Israel could maintain total situational awareness over the region, control the airspace during conflicts, and neutralize threats before they become serious. For now, the F-3050Y remains Israel's crown jewel of air power and a symbol of its technological edge. It's not just an aircraft, it's a statement that Israel intends to maintain its qualitative military advantage for decades to come.